It's unfortunate that as the nation's betting shops host Responsible Gambling Week, the woman who was in charge resigned feeling it just wasn't responsible enough. Those who have lost thousands at this Stockport bookmakers think the reform to betting Tracy Crouch resigned over would have made a big difference to their lives, like Danny Cheetah. So Danny, your house is 50 metres behind us and this is the betting shop. How many thousands do you think you lost in there? It must be in the tens of thousands now. I used to be in there several times a day. Every chance I got of any money I had, I'd be straight into the bookies. What's the maximum you lost in there on any given day? Entire payday wage and a loan. I used to be in there losing all my money one point and then I'd be straight trying to borrow more money to go back in. No, I have absolutely no regrets about my decision whatsoever. Um, I'm perfectly comfortable with my decision um, and uh, I have no further comment to make. Tracy crouched this morning on her first day out of government, standing by her fear that the delay will see more gambling addicts die. Danny lost perhaps £50,000 in betting over eight years. He's not gambled for nearly 12 months. You can spend all your wage in a matter of minutes. You can get absorbed by it. I, I can't carry physical money on me because I'd be too scared of going into another bookmaker's. But how would it actually change things when you're in there betting this, this new cap? Would it, what, what would it change? It would have meant that it would have been hours, not minutes, and it kind of gives you that time to reflect and not put that next bet on. It's just so impulsive. More than two million people in the UK are addicted to gambling. Tracy Crouch claimed gamblers would spend £1.6 billion between now and when the limit is introduced. Fixed odd betting terminals, known as the crack cocaine of gambling, generate £1.8 billion in revenues for the industry every year. I can say with some certainty that these are causing suicides, they are causing people to go into huge debt, and that with every single day that passes, that remains a risk. Uh, if we were looking at a, a drug or something in the pharmaceutical industry that was causing this kind of side effect, we would withdraw it tomorrow. It's not yet known why the government's delayed introducing the limit on bets, but with the Treasury used to millions in taxes from Britain's gambling industry, it's a fairly good bet a reduction in future revenue will have something to do with it. Alexa Stratton, News at 10, Stockport.